Hey everybody, welcome to uh, August 12, 2015. Wednesday? Hold on, let me think, let me think. Yes, 12th. Yeah, Wednesday. Okay, my name is Xenia Jadon, and today I'd like to talk about is that, uh... So, today is the last day for Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F to be in theaters for the limited time run. And I gotta say, they pulled, they pulled, they pulled a miracle right now. They are right now in the top 10 anime movie released in theaters right now in the world. In the United States, by the way, sorry, not the world. So, top 10 animes, top 10 anime movies, top 10 anime movie grossing, sorry, top 10 anime grossing movie in North America or something like that, uh, which is, I believe, now in number 9 or 8th position. It's right below Digimon the movie. And I never really knew that the first two movies uh, on top list was Pokemon. Pokemon the first movie and Pokemon the movie 2000. So, that's good to know. Also, Pokemon the movie 3 is also on there too. Um, and there's Digimon, so Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F is now on there. And uh, I don't remember the other ones, but... I gotta say, it's actually very impressive. Good job, Funimation. Uh, to making it just that big up there in the top 10s list. I'd like to see top maybe 50, maybe 20. Just to see like how far uh, some other movies were. Because, you know, a lot of those movies, that did, uh, Pokemon and Digimon, those were back in the 90s. Like, late 90s. So, I kind of like to know, or maybe even early 2000s. Extremely early 2000s. So, I like to know where it turn different on uh some of the the grossing numbers so anyways um so yeah dragon ball z resurrection f is the last day to watch it i i have not seen it so i'm not gonna be able to watch it until it comes out on dvd or somewhere on the internet uh that's probably the saddest thing for my opinion i wanted to for sure watch it but i had so much things going on so i couldn't i, I just kind well, of bothers me a bit but i am very am I'm kind of proud about that. So, not me missing the movie, but I'm proud about the Dragon Ball Z movie reaching to t at least top 10 in the uh, United States, you know, grossing movie. So, that's great. Um, gotta say, big, big jump and thanks to Toonami for helping them out. I'm pretty sure they did in a way big way. And then, uh, I know this Funimation's, you know, YouTube channel and also Twitter, Facebook, all their media sites. YouTube probably helped as well. Uh, you know, their Funimation, they can, like, tell you, hey, you like watching this movie? Go watch this stuff on their ads and stuff, like, on Hulu Plus and Crunchyroll and all that stuff, so. Or do you watch watching that movie? This is Michelle, you go watch this movie and shit like that. So, anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for that. Uh, so Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F, uh, is done, over with, reached top one, uh, top ten, uh, grossing animes in North America. So, number 8 or 9. So, that's good. Anyways, uh <clears throat> That was weird. The last thing I like to talk about today uh which today is the 12th. So, I believe it actually came out that day as well. So, Microsoft's or I should say really Rare Rare's uh replay, Rare Replay is out now. Now, the thing is, I don't have an Xbox One. I want an Xbox One. There's a couple games I really would like to try out for the Xbox One. Uh, not including the collections, not like Halo Master Chief Collection or the Ultimate Gears of War Collection or something like that. I'm talking about some exclusives like Dead Rising 3. I mean, yeah, that's on PS, uh, PC, but I don't know PC. So there's Dead Rising 3. <laughs> okay, sorry. Dead Rising 3, Killer Instinct. Uh, there's... Uh, a little bit of Project Sparks, at least because Ban uh, not Banjo, uh, Conquer's in it. Uh, Sunset Overdrive, and I can't think of another game at the top of my mind. Uh, but you know, I am actually really wanting to try out to play uh, those games. So, um, where we play, that's probably like a big system seller for me right now. A lot of those games I just announced. 
or games I'm actually wanting to get for the Xbox One. And the biggest thing Xbox One has even said that I'm even really interested in is, oh hey, uh, we could play your Xbox One games. I'm like, what? So that is very big for me and uh, good. So anyways, that's kind of it for that. And um, yeah. Yeah, so Rare Replay is out now. You can play Conker's Bad for a Day. You can play Magic Kazooie, Tui, Perfect Dark, uh, Viva Pinatas, AM Pro Racing, uh, what else? Battle Toads, and just a, a bunch of other great classic games from Rare Rare's history. Uh, but, anyways, thank you for watching. Also, including Killer Instincts in there, too. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys all for the next uh, video, alright? Bye.